What's up, Sports to the Bone family? What's up? What's up? A blessed morning to you all, and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. All right, coming up in this one, my viewers and subscribers, we have a couple of things to zoom in on. We see where the Delhi Capital uh, batting all around, and Mr. Ravman Powell spoke to the media the other day, did an interview, was letting them know that, here what? I was actually confident I could have gotten um, six sixes and also encouraged his teammate to move on from the no ball controversy. So we're going to take a look at that interview, share some of the things that he had to say. And we're also going to be talking about Dwight York, the former Manchester United striker from um, Trinidad and Tobago. You know, he's one of us. So we're you know, just going to be looking at a few things that he had to say as it relates to Manchester United and the direction in which the club is going or should be going. So just make sure you stick with us until the end. Hit that subscribe button, man. Turn on the post notification bell. Make sure you like the video and drop a comment, my viewers and subscribers, all right? So we're going to start things off with Ravman Powell. Now, Ravman Powell is actually urging his teammates to quickly move past no ball controversy because, you know, that is not going to help them any at all. It is something that has happened and they need to move past it quickly now we're talking about that no ball incident between um in the game between Raj i think it was delhi capital and rajasthan royals where according to them a delivery was bold um that was above um wayside to ravman poil and it was not called so you know he's addressing that here right according to him the team is looking to get into the playoffs so they don't really have any time to be worrying and, and pondering about all of that now according to him um, it's it's something that we, that they have to put beyond them in order to make sure that the team progress. We can just um, stay on that and, and and you know and just keep drawing it out and, and things like that. Now, Paul is quoted as saying, "Have to put it beyond us, and we have to put it beyond us as quick as possible." Right. So, solid advice there from Mr. Ruffman Paul. Now he went on to say, and I quote: "We have a lot of upcoming upcoming matches." And we have to we have no time to sit and dwell on things like those. So once again, solid advice from Mr. Ravman Poil, you know. You know, when it comes on to, 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 to cricket, the umpire's decision is final. You understand? And you don't want you don't want to, 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 to bring the game into disrepute. Similarly to when I, <laughs> I I didn't really talk about it much, but Richard Pant, you know, signaling to, to for the players to come off the field. I, I, I wasn't really a, I wasn't a, a fan of, of it when it was going down at all. I, I didn't really like it. You understand? But them, a lot of them man have them powers, so I guess they do what they want to do. Now, Powell also went on to talk about his team, right? His teammates, his team, his team in general. He's quoted as saying, we have some important games coming up, you know, games that we have to win, right? And he's, uh, he also indicated that um, as, it, as, it, as it relates to the team, the only way to move forward is to make sure that whatever they do, they are doing, they do it as a group. So if they are transitioning forward, moving forward, they want to make sure that everybody is moving in one accord or moving in one direction. So, as I said, so see, <laughs> sounds like Mr. Mr. Ravman Poil, Captain Ravman Poil, I want to say, Captain Ravman Poil, giving out, um, dishing out some solid advice there. <laughs> anyway, the interview, you know, in the interview, he also spoke about, um, you know, the, 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 the sixes, right? And he was saying that, um, and he's quoted as saying, uh, uh, you know, after I, after he got the first, um, the first, the first six, the first two sixes, he was like, well, what can happen? Let me go, let me go again and see what will happen. And, you know, and then, you know, he got the, the next one, which was, um, the, the, he, according to him, he was hoping that that one would have been a no ball, but, um, it, it, it wasn't the case right uh, but he's basically letting us know that um you know he was definitely confident that he could have gotten those runs for the team now he's quoted as saying the umpire's decision is final and as cricketers that is something that we have to live with and move on yes my viewers and subscribers that is what Ravman Powell is saying now he went on to say that um you know it, it felt really good to get some runs because he has you know, he was actually struggling for runs lead coming into that game. And to go out there and get some in the middle really felt good. Albeit just in the 30s, 36 or something like that. You understand? So according to him, it really it felt really good to go out there and get some runs. So 
final thing that he, he, he actually said was that and i quote just for me to just for him to continue to um to, to see if he can bring it to the next game so the fact that he got a start he got some runs in that game you know he just want to see if he can take it over in to the following game as his team look to progress you know he's one of the guys that they expect to come come up trumps for them come up real big for them so if he's not firing then you know that the team is basically you know unbalanced it's just the other day one of those indian comment one of those analysts that talk about the game was saying that they need to start out um and find out what's happening with Rahman Poyle because he's in the team to, to make runs and he's not making any runs so he's not offering anything you know so they need to definitely find a solution in case he is not able to to tee off or to fire so very good to see him um getting some form in yeah so yeah that is basically the the, the IPL aspect that I wanted to share with you guys so just to finish up on some football now right Dwight York um the former Manchester United striker he did an interview recently and he was actually talking about um was actually talking about Manchester United and the new coach that is coming in right he's just letting them know that here what in his opinion um the coach should be given or the manager should be given full control right full control because we would have seen where um other experienced coaches with big names would have come into the club and they were not able to become successful you know and one would say it's because they are not allowed to exercise their full reign sorry over over transfer over transfer and um players that are supposed to leave the club and players that are supposed to come in you know we know the, the manchester united hierarchy they like to dip into that aspect we also had an issue of scouting you know identifying players and and, and all of that so the fact that we have a couple of things started out sporting director and you know not saying that we are, we are across the line but i i am i am actually um agreeing with dwight york that we definitely need to need to allow the manager to to sign the players that he thinks will work in his system and whoever thinks that is not working well with his system then you know we know how that go already you understand there are a few players that are in the club right now that as i speak i can easily name maybe nine or ten persons that should be leaving right away you know but then when those players leave then you have to um you have to replace them so you know it's it, it's time it's time i think he signed a three-year contract um coach ten hog that is a three-year contract but he will be able to extend it to um by one year i mean four four years can fix manchester united you know you need three four years to really weed out these players bring in new players get them gelling get them playing and trying to qualify for um top four and then um try to qualify for champions league then by a look by the six seventh year maybe if everything is still smooth they can start thinking about going for after titles but that is how far back we are at my viewers and subscribers i watch manchester city i watch liverpool chelsea sometimes Tottenham and arsenal on and off you know and these teams are they, these teams are really putting it on big you understand they are miles ahead of us they are miles ahead of us and they are building this up as a new revolution so let us see i remember when um when ralph reniek was just coming man name let it let, let the man name make it seems as if raniek was actually actually somebody from bible days from bible days you understand that could work miracle i know that some of the top coaches know that they, they, they adapt his philosophy you know my viewers and subscribers but the way and this man was actually brought in to just be an advisor but based on his philosophy we thought that you know something would have happened but um if you follow them follow the english league and you're watching manchester united even if you're not um even if you are not a, a, a fan of, of, of Manchester United, once you watch, then you would know that this club is, is far, far away from where it needs to be. So, you know, he's, he will definitely have his, his work cut out for him. But um, as loyal supporters, we will definitely be here routing on for them. So, yeah, that is basically it for this one, my viewers and subscribers. Let's go and big up on yourself and we will definitely touch base later on. Zine, I'm out.